Hey everyone, my name is Amy Briggs and I'm the children's pastor here at Impact Fellowship Church. This week we're taking time to follow Jesus' footsteps through the last week of his life here on earth. On Wednesday, Jesus was at the home of a friend in Bethany. We read about this in Matthew chapter 26. And when Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him, having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when his disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor. But when Jesus was aware of it, he said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, but me you do not have always. For in pouring this fragrant oil on my body, she did it for my burial. Assuredly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him thirty pieces of silver. So from that time he saw opportunity to betray him. Can you imagine how Jesus felt in these moments? A woman anointed him with perfume, a sign of reverence and respect. Yet those closest to him, his own disciples, admonished her for the monetary waste. I feel like I would be insulted and hurt that my closest friends didn't count me worthy of the cost. And then the betrayal of Judas. He put a value on Jesus' friendship, on his life. 30 pieces of silver. Jesus knew what was happening. He knew that this trusted friend was planning to betray him and turn him over for execution. That this person that he had poured time and training and love into would ultimately betray him. At first I think, how could he possibly have done that? How could he turn his back on Jesus? Then I realize that I have been guilty of the same sin. How often do we turn our backs on Jesus or set him aside for a small amount of silver? What is your price? Social acceptance? Personal pleasure? Time? As you prepare your hearts today, spend time in reflection and prayer. Is there someone in your life that has betrayed you and you need to forgive them so that you can move on? Are there times in your life where you betray Jesus? Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal them to you and give you the strength to follow him wholeheartedly. I just pray a blessing over you today that you would find those areas in your life where you need to shine for Jesus, where you need to put him in the front of your life and not set him aside, not betray him in those seemingly small moments that can be huge to someone else's life. And I pray that you would look at your relationships. Are there people in your life that have hurt you that need that forgiveness? Do you need to forgive them for you so that you can move on with your life and with your relationship with Christ? We want to invite you to come and be part of our Easter weekend. Journey to the Cross is an interactive experience walking us through the final steps of Jesus' journey. Join us tomorrow, April 13th, from 5 to 6.30 p.m., and again on Friday, April 14th, from 12 to 1.30 or 6 to 8. Then, of course, come and celebrate the resurrection of Christ on Easter Sunday, April 16th at 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 11 a.m. Thank you so much for joining us for this journey this week, and I hope that you would continue to join us tomorrow.